Welcome to the Weekend Homestead. This week, again, another update on the house. Right behind me here, you can see our timber framed uh, porch is ready to go. Uh, we got our framed up pieces of timber up on the top, the cedar post coming down. On the bottom here, we're gonna have stone that goes up basically from those uh, square blocks on the bottom up to about mid height. Maybe a railing that goes back to the house on, on either side and then um, a set of steps that'll come down and a concrete sidewalk that'll go across the uh, yard here over to um, where the driveway is and that'll be our sidewalk to the front yard. This piece itself will be vaulted. We'll have uh, paneling up in the top and a chandelier up top and then uh, these uh, posts here like I said uh, right up to about here will be stone very similar to what the fireplace will have and then a railing will go back to the house on either side and we'll have steps coming down. On this side over here that pink dot is where our water connection will be on the front of the house here. That'll go in this week. And look what we're making headway on over here. New stone fireplace is going back together again. So uh, hopefully we'll get this done here in the next uh, couple weeks. We gotta get it done before freeze. So we're working our way up. We got all the way up to the top up there, but definitely looking good. A couple other updates outside here. All of our electrical and our air conditioning and heating units have all been put in. We just got them temporarily covered up. Our gas line has been installed here. Uh, gas line runs underneath and then our tank has been uh, reset up here. So we're all set up on propane. We've got heat in the house and it's working really well. Uh, one other addition, see that gray box up on the top up there? Actually, that's something new that I just uh, finished up today. What it is, is a low voltage box, a, a camera, and then three coax lines are in there. So if we ever want to add satellite TV or satellite internet to the house, most likely we'd put it up in the corner here and then uh, just run some wires into where that box is and then they go into the house here. Kind of a nice uh, add on to the house. It'll just sit up there if we never use it. But if it's there, it's easier to run the lines now and have all of our low voltage set than it would be to add it later on. Uh, the sun porch. If you want to see uh, what this looks like before, I'll add a little bit of video here to kind of show you right up in the corner here of uh, what the back of the house looked like before we added this in. Again, here's our uh, propane tank. We uh, had a company come in, lift it up, level it out, and then rerun a new gas line to service the house. On the back here, we just added a couple of uh, low voltage speakers and a, a light, which will hopefully light up the backyard here. The nice thing is, is we have a, a nice fire pit right back here and a deck with uh, some furniture. So to have some lights back here would be great. What would this remodel project be without a dumpster? Got another one here. This one's for the roofing material. Starting this week, we're gonna take the roof off the house and uh, throw it in here and install a new roof. That'll hopefully happen Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week. And then uh, we'll be all finished with all of our plumbing that I'll show you on the inside and the other things that we've run through the attic really um, once they put the shingles on, everything up there will be buttoned up. We shouldn't have any more water issues. We shouldn't have any ice or anything like that. And everything will be on this side of the house, we got all the rest of the siding off. So now there's no, none of the original siding is here. And we got this window changed out. So now we've got our window facing this way. 
I have one more window we need to install plus one interior window we need to install, but both of those will get added here probably within the next week. Um, as you can see, our electrical is all installed and everything's good to go there. Um, our internet's been updated and they finally got the last pole out of the woods over there. So that's uh, been taken care of. Now I've got two telephone poles I got to figure out what I'm going to do with. Here we are back in the house again. Um, got our fireplace running. It's going very well. Got our low voltage and all of our can lighting and everything installed up top. So we're pretty much ready for electrical inspection now. I just got the uh, smoke detectors to finish. As you can see down on the bottom here, uh, we've got some pipe. We've got some pipe in the wall. We're starting to rough in all of our plumbing. All of our different runs are done for uh, the different spaces. Uh, we got the kitchen done. Now we're going to work on the uh, bathrooms and the downstairs. So one of the things I wanted to show you was we have a uh, thermostat that we added in. And one of the cool things is we can control it with our smartphones. So I'll give you an example, I turn the temperature to 59. And as you can see in the corner here, it changed the temperature to 59 and kicked the heat on. I can turn it back off again just by clicking the button here and it's back off, which is really nice setting just because then for us when we're traveling, it's really easy to turn up and down the uh, thermostat in the house. Couple additions in this space. Our new window has been in, put in. So now we have a window out to the uh, side yard. Um, one other window is gonna be added right where that paper is. Unfortunately, we haven't gotten it yet, but we'll get it here shortly. A Couple of our low voltage runs kind of run through here and all of our camera and uh, cable TV runs have all been added in um, for our different television connections up here. Uh, sorry for the low light here, but uh, here's the uh, plumbing. So we've got our PVC run in here for our new drain or vent up through the attic. Uh, our tub is in, in place. Toilet has been cut in. So here, sorry about the low light again in here, but here's all the uh, uh, plumbing work on this side for the master bath, for the sink, the toilet. And then that large area right there is for a large shower that we're going to put in. All of our plumbing is run up there. We've got our fans in and our vents, our speakers in low voltage. So we're ready to go here also for the install. Um, our back door is now in. Our house door is now in. So those will be installed here so we can get rid of our plywood. But we finally got our windows in, in the sunroom here. And then, like I said, where this plastic is, I just have this up temporarily to keep the uh, temperature in check in the house because it gets uh, mighty cold here at night but that'll be a big window. And then we've got our spec information for our wood stove for in here. So that's all put together. Uh, let's go downstairs and I can show you what we're doing down there. Just to give you an example of how dirty it is in the house here, that's a furnace filter after a week. So we've been changing it out once a week. We buy the cheaper ones and just keep trading them out one after another. Furnace is running. Heat dump system works great. I had it running today. The house was up to 65. We didn't use any gas at all. This is where that pipe is. It comes down from the fireplace. I'll go through how this specifically works. Um, one other item, this right here is our um, whole home humidifier. So in the fall here, we can control the humidity with this control right here. We've got a little bit of networking cable to finish running down here. And we're starting to collect in some of our finishing goods. So the different handles and locks for the house, the heated floor for in the sunroom, uh, some different light fixtures, uh, speakers, things like that. So those are all being added in. All of this wiring right here is for uh, different speaker runs, uh, camera systems, satellite systems, phone, internet. Um, we've got our uh, transfer switch all ready to go. We've got the, uh, all the wires run into the electrical box, so that's all good to go. All right, so I just wanted to give you a quick tour of kind of the updates around the house. We got the plumbing and electrical in. A roof is gonna be going on here shortly. The porch is done. Hopefully we'll get the deck done on the back of that property, and then uh, we'll start buttoning it up so we can get it ready for the winter, get the insulation in, get the sheetrock and the pine boards on, and then uh, once we get to that point, we can slow down a little bit and take each one of the rooms and start finishing them off one at a time. And, my hope is by January 1st, uh, we're pretty much wrapped up and, you know, we can move in and start using the place and uh, enjoying it over this winter and, and hopefully, uh, you know, build a garage in the springtime.